In this session, we're going to see how to access SAP. First of all, if we remember, we need to install um, a program in our PC, in all of the PCs. It's also possible to access uh, through a, a explorer or navigation, navigator, but uh, normally it is better to, to access to, to the SAP GUI, Graphical User Interface. So this is uh, how the, um, this program looks like when we execute it. And we're going to see here the different uh, environments we can access. Normally in an implementation, in SAP implementation, we're going to have a development environment where uh, programmers do some changes to to custom, customized or personalized programs in SAP. The production, that is the real one, when, when the actual operations are taking place, are uploaded. Sandbox, this is a specially test environment where uh, normally consultants can make some tests of, of the different uh, changes they can make or the different uh, features they want to implement in, in SAP. And finally, test. This is a normally an environment where users test changes in programs or in customizing that are uh, made in development by programmers or consultants, but then moved to test just to test them. And once users approve them, they are moved to production, to the real environment. So when we open this uh, program, we just select the environment to which we want to access and we press log on or we double click just the, the environment. For uh, configuring it, we can go to this uh, button and then we can see that uh, where the server, it is uh, the server address is specified. So uh, what we need is uh, well, a description, that is what we are going to see here, but we can enter whatever we want. The server address, that is going to tell the system to tell the SAP GUI how to access to the server. Instant number and system ID that are going to identify in the same server different instances, different SAP instances. So once this is configured, we, we will be able to access SAP. So once they are configured, as we have already seen, we can use logon or double click. And we, would, we will see a screen like this, that is the SAP access window. If, uh, if it is not possible to get this screen, uh, we will get a, a message. And that what it means is that uh, with the server that has been configured, it was not able to, to make a connection. Uh, there can be different issues like uh, the network or, or, be, or the address might be wrong, etc. Here we see, as we see, there are different uh, fields to enter. First, we have the client. Mm, even in the same installation, we can have different clients with independent data. It is a, a normally used when we want to maintain in a different instance the um, configuration, but in another one, in another client, the data and the and all the operations that are, that are being entered into the system. The user, the systems department, will give us a user code that it is the one we have to enter in this field. The password, normally system department is going to give us an initial password that uh, we will have to change first time we access. It is mandatory to change it. And finally, as we see here, the language. As we see here, it is blank. So the system is going to be configured to enter in a predefined language when it is blank. 
but it is possible as it is possible to use the same SAP instance in different countries and, and for and by different people. It is possible to enter here the language which uh, with which we want to enter. Uh, for English, which we will have to enter EN.